Metallica members James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich are opening up about their former bassist Jason Newstead in a way they never have before, revealing they now understand his reasons for leaving the band. The aftermath of Newstead's decision to leave Metallica was captured in their legendary documentary, Some Kind of Monster. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend watching it. It showcases some of the internal dynamics of one of music's most legendary acts. The film shows the band trying to reckon with their bassist leaving the iconic act and searching for his replacement. And both James and Lars told Zane Lowe on Apple Music that they now get why he decided to leave. First, Hetfield says, quote, My theory now is I could love anybody really at the end of the day. You get to know them. You get to know where they've come from. You understand where their parents are from. All of that. How are you? You? I can accept that. I can really accept that. There was more to be revealed. I mean, really. He was at a point where he was at, and we were at a point where we were at. It happened because it happened. If it was like that right now, say Robert comes and says, hey, I'm done here. We would fight. We would fight or I would fight for him. I don't know about the fight back then. Ulrich goes on to add, quote, if you think about it, Jason is the only member of Metallica who was ever left willingly. And that in itself is a statistic. And the resentment from James and I was just so, you can't do that. You can only leave if we want you to leave. And then we weren't equipped at the time to do a deep dive on why he was leaving. So of course, now you see 20 years later, it makes complete sense. We write the songs, we make the decisions, we do all of it. You have no creative outlet in this band. You have no creative voice. Then when you go and do something that gives you satisfaction and a way for you to express yourself to the rest of the world, then we get pissed at you. Then that resentment then goes to you leaving the band. I mean, that's kind of Psychiatry 101 here, but we weren't equipped to see that side of it. 20 years later, now it makes complete sense. Ulrich then acknowledges that Jason Newstead was the first guy in and the last one to leave during his time with Metallica. He said, quote, Jason gave 14 years every day, every performance. He was there always. I mean, we always used to joke like, He's so fired up. Come on, dude, slow down. He was the fucking first guy in and the last guy out. He was signing autographs when we were driving by, waving on the way out of the buildings. I mean, he really was. And I now am finally equipped to appreciate every moment that he gave. And we have, I think, so much respect for each other now, so much appreciation. 10 years ago, when we did the 30th anniversaries, when he came up with us and played four nights with us at the four Fillmore shows, played two nights with us, seeing Rob and him together up there, that felt like it was the beginning of the thawing of where we are now, but he's been a very integral part of the Black Album reissue and the re-release and has done interviews and been very, very helpful. He did the unboxing of the box for the cameras and the whole thing. I mean, he's been so gracious. James added, he was at the point where he was at. We were at a point where we were at. It happened because it happened. Lars said Jason was caught in no man's land. So in a way, he sacrificed himself or had to be sacrificed in order for us to be able to move to the place we're at now. So it's ironic and really sad. For me, it's amazing that it lasted 14 years that Jason stuck it out for that long. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.